So yeah, I went to go see the D&D movie. Now I want to get it out of the way at the very beginning. This is not a video where I'm talking about whether it is ethical to see or not see the D&D movie. If you want to talk about that, there are plenty of other videos out there. And frankly, I think the conversation has been talked to death. There's a lot of nuance to it. There's a lot of importance to it. I'm not saying it's not. It's just not something I could add any more on. If you want to see a pretty good deep dive on generally just how you should feel about going to go see this movie, I think Phil or Tulak the Barbarian has done a great job. And if you guys could go check him out, see the video, make your decisions then, and also tell him I sent you, that would be great. However, that's not what I'm talking about. Instead, I want to talk about the unique, interesting things that I saw when watching the movie. Now, my first initial thoughts are, it was a very fun movie. I had an awesome time going to go see it with my friends, leaning over and talking to my wife, explaining to her the different references they made as she asked for them. It was honestly a, a very fun time, a really enjoyable movie, but not one to really write home about. I mean, seriously, like I did enjoy it. It was a good time, but at no point did I really feel like I was watching anything truly special. Until a specific point near the end. Now I want to make it very clear, this is a spoiler free video. You don't have to worry about anything other than very minor spoilers such as a character's name here and there, or a very, very vague reference to an event. I don't intend to spoil this in any way. Instead, I want to talk about the weird feeling that I got that really helped me realize exactly what tabletop games are and why they're special to me. And I realize that I seem to have a revelation on that every other video, but that's because I think tabletop games are just an infinite vast void of ability to learn about the things that we love about the world themselves. And this movie really did help me do that. So enough rambling, enough of that ridiculousness. Let me explain exactly what I'm talking about here. What was it that was so special to me? Well, see, I think there are two people who are going to go see this movie. People who are curious about D&D and people who play D&D. And I think there'll be a very different vibe between the two. And that's because D&D players, tabletop players, are going to see the characters, and then they're going to see the players behind the characters. Now, I make no illusion, this was not some sort of thing where they took a campaign and made a movie out of it, such as The Legend of Vox Machina. It's just not going to be that. I understand that Hasbro only greenlit this movie because they knew it would make them more money. It's a giant marketing ploy. It does not go over my head. It is only meant to create more brand awareness so they can create a larger monopoly in the TTRPG space. However, they kind of shot themselves in the foot with the whole OGL situation and well regardless I understand that it is just a corporate thing and that's not what I'm getting at here. What's it exactly that you bring to this? I'm a planner. I make plans. You've already made the plan so if the existing plan fails I make a new plan. So you make plans that fail? No. He also plays the loot. Not relevant. But it really did feel like just watching a D&D &D campaign made into a movie. The ridiculous hijinks, the funny interactions between the characters, all of that absurdity was honestly a ton of fun to watch and it reminded me. See, near the end of the movie, and again, no spoilers, something happens where they essentially nail down the theme of the movie, which is found family is important. And I know, like really, what an incredible conclusion. It's not like every other campaign has that same story, but that was the point. The point was, as I was watching it, this movie really made me feel inside excited to play TTRPGs. Not because there was anything incredible in there, not because it was this amazing moment of emotional storytelling. I will be honest, I did not feel hardly any emotional resonance with this movie whatsoever. However, I got to see this feeling of a fun campaign. I almost could see the players behind the screen talking to the DM and having ridiculous antics, talking about what was going on, trying to make the rules fit the story all of that. One of the most fun things about the entire movie was watching them try and take those mechanics and translate them into the movie. I mean, as somebody who spends a lot of time talking about mechanics and how those mechanics can be translated into a story, I was very fascinated to see how this movie would work out. And while I don't think it was honestly mind-blowing in how they did it, the way they did it was very fun. You could see the different characters interacting with each other and pointing holes in the different mechanics. Things such as why does Speak With Dead only allow you to ask a certain amount of questions? Seems a little arbitrary, doesn't it? Once the dead man is revived, we can ask him five questions, at which point he will die again, mm -hmm. never to be re-revived. Were you killed in the Battle of the Everhorse? Yes. Four more questions, right? Yes. No, 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 that, that wasn't for you. Did that count as a question? Yes. Damn it. Well, yes, of course it's arbitrary, but that's the point. There was a game mechanic behind it. And so having that poking fun in the entire movie was honestly a blast. And seeing them take the mechanics that the game has and then find ways of making them even more interesting felt so much like a D&D plot. There was one specific magic item which allowed them to do some specific things. And I don't think it is an item that existed. For those of you who have seen the movie, please let me know in the comments below if that item did exist up until this point. I looked it up online and I could only find articles that were written in the past month, so I feel like it didn't. But the ways that they used the mechanics of that item 
were incredibly fun, finding ways to circumvent how it worked. And also, at one point, they tend to take the attunement ability that we have in D&D 5e and making it an important plot point, which I thought was just fascinating, really fun, and honestly, just a huge breath of fresh air and seeing them translate these things into a different medium where we can still enjoy them without having to get all rules lawyery over it. I thought it was fantastic. I remember seeing a video and I do apologize, I don't remember who the creator was, but they were talking about the fact that they could almost hear the players and the DM talking while watching the movie, saying, oh, look at this, there's an NPC and its name is um Jonathan. And the player's immediately going, Jonathan? All right, scrap the previous plan. This is our new plan. We have to have Jonathan involved in our story. I love him. And how many times has that happened in anybody's campaign? There's a single NPC who somehow gets a weird name or some sort of weird quirk, and then the players just latch on to him. And that's kind of what this entire movie felt like, was just watching those absurd antics. And while it did not resonate emotionally with me and the way that the story progressed, it did get within me this deep, burning passion for my table, for the people who play at my table, for the ridiculous moments that we have where things go insane. See, the movie itself, really is an excellent example of why tabletop games are loved, but it's not because of the bombastic special effects, it's not because of the star-studded cast, though don't get me wrong, they all did incredible with that. It's because it reminds us of the true love of D&D, of TTRPGs in general, and that is the people at our table. Remembering who's special to us, and the stories that we're creating are with those people who are special. Yeah, there's not necessarily a huge emotional resonance, and I'll be honest, my entire channel is based around creating that emotional resonance. I talk about how to create deep emotional story beats, how to create impressive plot twists, how to create the most developed and fleshed out characters possible, but I think at some point across this channel, I forgot, it doesn't have to be deep all the time. It doesn't have to be emotional all the time. Sometimes, it is important to throw the dramatics aside and just enjoy time with the people in front of you at the table. That truly is the most important and magical aspect of all this and it just was so fun to be able to be reminded of that even if it was in a theater of all places. The ability to just look at that and feel like I really wanted to be with the people at my table, like it was something special was incredible. And so, while the D&D movie was meant to just create brand awareness, that's really what it is for, let's not be mistaken from that, it's to make money from the box office and to raise brand awareness. That's why it's there. However, there is something underneath that that cannot be taken away. There is the important stories, the amazing emotions, and the wonderful times we have with our friends that will never be taken away from any of that. And honestly, I think that's probably the best thing I could have possibly gotten from the movie. So to everybody who worked on the movie, genuinely, thank you. Because it was so fun to be able to be reminded of that and to truly feel that passion for the game once again. Only answer when I talk to you, okay? Yes. Why did you say okay at the end of that? I didn't. Fantastic. Where's the shovel? 